Nancy Pelosi just told a group of protesters to go back to China. What is going on here? She finally says something I agree with, and then later I find out she's talking about some white people. What's going on, man? Uh, we got to talk about this because this clip is going viral on Twitter. A bunch of news sites are covering it. Long story short, Andrew, Nancy Pelosi uh, had a couple of, I want to say, pro-Palestinian protesters outside of her driveway. Mm -hmm. They were my, maybe even on her driveway. And all of a sudden, she kind of is getting into her bulletproof SUV when she says, go back to China, where your headquarters are. All right, so what does she mean by this? Because at first, initially, David, anytime someone hears go back to China, especially as an Asian person, we're like, wait, what? Are they talking to an Asian person? Are they being racist? Nancy Pelosi's being racist? And, but I guess there was a lot more depth to what she meant because she's not speaking to a group of Asians. Right, so we got to break it down. It's complicated. I learned a bunch of things, so make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. But you know what? Shouldn't go back to China, even though some of the ingredients are from China. Small ass sauce currently sold out. Stay up on the Instagram to tune in to find out when we restock. I guess long story short is Nancy Pelosi who has been in Congress for 36 years, Andrew. She's a very famous person. She was the Speaker of the House uh -huh. two times. Very powerful she, person. Yo, she got pictures with JFK, and JFK's kind of looking at her like, hey, you know, look not too bad. But anyway, what I'm saying is, like, she's basically been accusing people who are pro-Palestinian protesters of either being Russian or Chinese assets. What does that mean by being a Russian asset? You mean being funded by Russia, being funded by China? What are we talking about? This is where it gets really murky because she got asked, she was like, so are you accusing all pro-Palestinian protesters of being pl Russian plants? And she's like, no, I'm just saying where the funds are coming from. So basically it's like, she may have had a overreaction to something to like, Basically, she was trying to flex on the protesters, talking about where their funding okay. may be coming from. Okay, David, I just need to know, though. We need to answer the question because a lot of people are wondering, was Nancy Pelosi being racist towards Asian people when she said it? No, but it's a bad look. Because okay. <laughs> she's, it's a bad look because anytime you tell people to go back to China, that is a triggering phrase. Right, it's, supposed to, it's definitely negative. But anyways, guys, regardless, so she's not talking to Asian people. There was no, there was no, it's not about that at all. It's not about go back to China because you got COVID or go back to China because you're dirty, whatever communist. That's not what she's talking about. Is it weird to say it to a white person? Yeah, but, but what she's basically referring to is that she thinks, yeah, a lot of the protesters that are calling for a ceasefire that are pushing Putin's message right? A Russian message or a Chinese message. And it's being funded by one of those two groups. That's what she's suggesting. I don't know if there's any proof yet. Who knows? Maybe she's right. Maybe she's wrong, but that's actually what she's referring to. That's why she says where your headquarters are from. David, my, here's my quick take. Nancy Pelosi, very rich, very powerful. Doesn't matter that she's a Democrat. She is an 83 year old, rich, old, grumpy, white person in power. I don't care regardless if you are Republican or Democrat, you are an 80 plus year old, rich, grumpy white person. You are bound to just say whatever you want. You're saying whether it's Pelosi, Biden, Trump, people are just popping off. Like Charlie Munger, RIP to Mitch him, McConnell. I guess, whatever, if he was a good dude or not. They were just saying a lot of wild they, stuff. Nobody cares what they say. They're just old, rich, white people that are kind of grumpy and they're probably is it, on their way out right is it because they kind of like biologically know they're on the way out too I so they're just like i got a feeling i'm gonna express it do you think she said after she said go back to china she was like where your headquarters are from that sounded bad <laughs> um so by the just, way by the way there's no asian people in the crowd that i'm saying it to they're not let asian the context be clear happy uh, lunar new year Happy Lunar New Year! Somebody said, be nice. Nancy Pelosi's stock picks are currently putting my wife through college. Because this is a, a internet joke, but it probably is also true too, because everybody is always talking about Nancy Pelosi doing insider trading. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, somebody, maybe, maybe I gotta go uh, check out her stock picks. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, trust me, she just sold NVIDIA and she was up like 63% on it. Um, somebody just said, this is symptomatic of deep-seated sinophobia, even though it wasn't towards an Asian. Is it true that if you say this phrase, go back to China, it is, Wait, it's, almost, it's very triggering, right? Is go back to China equivalent to go to hell? Is that what we're equaling it now? 
Dang. Well, no. I guess it depends on what your connotations of that phrase are, but certainly the connotations in the past have been within a racist context. Well, well right? when you say go back to China, you definitely don't mean go back to a very nice place. You're, Some, ref, you're referring to the, the bad side of it. Somebody yeah. said she did visit Chinatown during COVID. Does she get some points to, like, basically, like, a credit for that? So even though this happened, it kind of cancels each other out. Listen, guys, China, Chinatown, pretty different places. I get it. They both have the word China in it. But China and Chinatown could not be more different considering they have the word China in it. All right, I got to address the Code Pink thing because I had no idea what any of this stuff was. Basically, Code Pink is like an anti-war organization, and one of its founders is married to a rich Indian American who made millions of dollars in Shanghai and lives in Shanghai as a tech founder. So okay. they're basically saying like through his business connections in China, the leader of Code Pink, who is a white redheaded woman, that's how, like, the money is going. But, well, why would China... Is there a reason why China would fund a anti-war group in America? Because I'm not saying I know the truth. I'm just saying Because Code what? Pink... And this, by the way, guys, let me just say this. This is Code Pink coming out and saying this. They believe that the U.S. military industrial complex is using China as a patsy to... As a smokescreen to do all this other war stuff around the world. That is one of the premises of Code Pink. So okay. I don't know, guys. Listen, I had to do all this research just off Nancy Pelosi saying go back to China. I didn't okay. know any of this. Okay. You can pop up yeah, some photos we here. We all this know is the research. American uh, military industrial complex. I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm not an expert on it, but it sounds like the Code Pink has a point. Of course, this whole Nancy Pelosi thing, Andrew, tumbled into a bunch of talking about uh, China versus U.S. relationships. Somebody said without U.S. consumers, China wouldn't even exist. And someone said, no, well, without China, America wouldn't even have anything to sell to the middle class consumers to keep them placated and keep them on the hamster wheel because everything would cost like triple the amount. And the truth is, Andrew, it is a symbiotic relationship. Yeah, guys, I don't want to argue about who needs who or who needs who no more. Whatever it is, it's close. You know what I mean? And you need each other. So it's kind of like stupid to be arguing about this. The argument is not which one do we eliminate off the face of the earth, okay? That's not that's not one of the options. It's just how do you make this thing work? It's like you're chained up together, two rivals, but not like enemies. You don't want to kill each other because you need each other. Because if you chain if you kill the other person that chained up to you, you end up dragging like a dead body with you. So you need to just work with each other so you guys can go in the right direction. Yeah, it's such a weird situation. It's like almost going to be frenemy, like I said. But like, are you going to focus on the front part, the friend part, or are you going to focus on the enemy part? Mm. Literally, but it, it's all one word together. Ultimately, Andrew, what do you think of this clip? When you first saw this clip of Nancy Pelosi saying, go back to China, where your headquarters are from, was it... Would, like, could you see how this is going viral? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, this is just something that is, it's like got so many layers to it. And she's like flexing on the code pink people to know that she knows potentially, possibly where the money comes from. But then it's also like, man, to the public, this is just ends up a viral Twitter clip. Right, right, right. So uh, guys, no, was Nancy Pelosi being racist? No. Uh, is China in this context the connotation of China, a negative connotation, yes, but I don't know if that counts as fully racist if you're talking about China as the place because, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. What, what, what's going That's on here? That's why people don't care about politics She's anymore, man. Rich, and this is why Gen Z is losing faith in our politicians. You know what? Politicians got filmed too much. We got the politicians on too much social media. They need to, man, politicians are too old. We need better politicians, man. Right and left side. We need we need better politicians. You got to have a whole new crop, That's man. They, my they, take. I'm not going to lie. She looks okay for 83, though, but possibly. I don't oh, know. man. She was good looking when she was like 40, man. Anyway, Nancy guys, Pelosi, let us know what you think in the comments section. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> let us know what you know. In the, let us know what you think in the comments section below. Until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.